First of all, uh, belated happy birthday to Wes uh, and uh, obviously everybody here and, and uh, inside of our programs thinking about his son uh, as well. Um, our thoughts and, and prayers are with him. So um, Saturday's unique opportunity uh, celebrating a 51 year anniversary of Conrad Holloway, um, you know, first black quarterback in, in this league. Um, pretty special opportunity to to honor a, a great legacy, somebody that meant so much um, through who he is. Uh, his character, uh, how he uh, handled himself here and uh, post-playing career as well, and uh, the legacy that he's left behind. Um, you know, like all of the guys that uh, have statues and are honored uh, outside of our stadium, it's, uh, it's an awesome uh, way to honor their legacy. Uh, Smokey Grays will be worn uh, in a pattern that uh, was similar to the uniform that he wore while he was here. Um, you know, Smokies are something that uh, our players and recruits get uh, excited about, and, and uh, hopefully our fan base does too. So. Um, look forward to seeing 102,000 of our closest friends here on uh, Saturday uh, evening uh, for our, our program. It's been a long time since we've been inside that stadium with, uh, with our fans and look forward to that. For a lot of our guys, it's the first opportunity that they're going to have drive by Vol Navy, uh, walk in front of 40,000 fans uh, in the Vol walk before the game and, and run out to 102,000. So looking forward to that. Um, you know, this week, a uh, good opponent, opponent in, in Austin P and, and uh, excited about us. Going into week two, just continuing uh, our football journey, continuing to get better here uh, as we go through the season. Um, opportunity for us as we look back at the tape this morning, um, you know, ways that all of us can improve in all three phases of the game. So open it up for questions. Yeah, Coach, two things house cleaning. One, uh, from the injuries that we saw on Saturday with Amari and Squirrel, uh, I think Omari and Tyler came back, but Squirrel did not. Where are you there? Are there any other injuries that you're concerned about? And two, when you watched the tape, what, what did you think of Joe's kind of eyes, decision-making? Did, did you like the way he saw the field? He felt like his eyes were good. What did you think when you watched the tape? Yeah, uh, the guys that you talked about, uh, Squirrel, is just the, the time in the game. That's the only reason he wasn't back in the game. Feel like we're in a good spot there uh, with those guys. Uh, Joe, uh, I thought it during the course of the ball game uh, on the video, too. Uh, I thought his decision making, where his eyes were at, uh, was really solid uh, throughout the course of the football game. Your quarterbacks over the years have thrown very few interceptions. Hendon didn't, Joe hasn't. It, what are the principles you and Joey teach that? that minimizes picks? Uh, it starts with, you know, very small details, but, you know, what we do all off season. Uh, understanding our schemes, um, being uh, uh, solid in, in their decision making based off of the defensive structure, um, the time that we spend on defensive structures, and um, then the fundamentals um, of playing the position. And uh, you put all that together, um, you should be in a good position to take care of the football. Same in the back end. <clears throat> Post game, Jalen Wright said that they feel that they're the best running back group in the entire nation. Um, how tight is this group, and is it one of the tightest that you've seen throughout your time? Yeah, very selfless group. Um, you know, they they want to be successful individually, but uh, I don't think there's anybody more happy about the success of the guy that's on the field than the guys that are on the sideline uh, during the moment of that success. And and um, at the end of the day, that group understands that the strength of the position can't be one guy. Uh, they pull hard for each other. Um, they're great competitors on the practice field. Uh, they push each other in the meeting room. And, um, you know, I think like our, all of our position groups, um, you know, they care about the people inside of that room. Coach, how did you evaluate the offensive line? I mean, you ran for almost 300 yards with, without Cooper and, you know, moving a bunch of guys around and playing a bunch of different people. Yeah, I thought um, for the moving parts that we had, the different guys that played at center, uh, the communication, getting all five guys on the same page as far as where our targets were that can be in the run game and in the pass protections, uh, they did a really solid job. There's some things that all five and really all the guys that played, you know, I mean, you're looking at eight guys that played a ton of snaps, I think maybe 13 that played during the course of the ball game. There's a lot of things that they got to clean up to, um, which is anticipated as you go from week one to week two. But all in all, really solid performance by those guys. <clears throat> Sure, there's things you want to improve, but what about the wide receivers? How do you evaluate how they played in that first game? Yeah, um, uh, subtle details and some of the structure uh, that we saw from uh, from the opponent that we can be a little bit cleaner in. All in all, uh, I thought they performed well. There's some things early in the football game that everybody saw that we weren't quite in sync. 
Um, not far off either. Uh, I anticipate us continuing to grow and, and uh, sure those things up. Two things. On the two kickoffs that went out of bounds, was that something where he just hit it poorly or was that like a design, like, you know, try to hit it high and pin him corner, you know, and let your coverage teams do the work? And then two, because you're so log jammed at DB with a lot of bodies, any thought about giving D. Williams some type of offensive package just because he can, you know, it's pretty special with the ball in his hands? D is special with the ball in his hands, but uh, he's going to continue to work at the, the corner spot and, and obviously be uh, heavily active in, in our return game. Thought he did a really nice job throughout the course of the day. I thought the way that he responded after something not going his way uh, showed uh, maturity and, and uh, actually pointed that out to the team <clears throat> after the ball game and uh, did that again uh, today. Uh, the kickoff out of bounds, you know, just fundamentally um, just a little bit off, and uh, that's why you end up, you know, hooking in a little bit. It's kind of like your golf shot. The defense, especially like in the secondary, seemed to have taken a nice step in that first game this season. And then can you also talk about James Pierce and just what he's been able to do in that role? Yeah, um, again, the, the, the back end played a lot of guys um, for the most part. Um, their fundamentals, their technique, their eyes uh, were in the right spot. They played with good fundamentals, which allowed them to be in a good position and uh, made some plays on the ball. Um, there's things that they, again, can continue to clean up. Uh, like I said, all offseason, too, a, a part of being better in pass defense is what you do up front and uh, being able to apply pressure to the quarterback. <clears throat> you guys saw that on Saturday. Uh, those guys did a great job up front of uh, creating havoc in the backfield. Two things I'll ask them separately. How did Beasley and Peely grade out? Beasley and Peely? Yeah. They graded out really well. Um, Keenan got a game ball. Um, Beasley played uh, played really well. And any impact at all different than what you might have thought with the clock rules with the first down? Not the clock yeah, I think up. you know the the clock. Uh, you know, you hear people kind of all over the map of how it's actually affecting the game. Um, you know, I mentioned I think a, a week ago what you know some of the analytics kind of said on the uh, you know the first few ball games. I think you find more out as you get into more conference play here of, uh, of how the game's actually playing out. So uh, we'll continue to see that. Josh, your, your two new centers, Ollie, he played guard, uh, started a few games a few years ago. Kind of his growth at center, how have you kind of seen it happen over this offseason? And, and Dane Davis was, has been primarily a tackle. Did he move to center like a couple weeks ago? And kind of how has he sort of handled that? Kind of big transition going from outside. Yeah, Ali, um, smart, cares about this program, cares about his teammates. He's a great teammate. And, um, you know, this offseason continued to change his body. I, I thought he had his best offseason. Uh, that's why I think he's playing his best football right now since we've been here. And um, he's smart, you know, moving from guard to center. It's different, yeah, but he's gotten consistent reps at the center position throughout uh, our tenure here. Um, he's done a really nice job. And uh, Dane <clears throat> didn't take reps there um, until, uh, until Coop went down. Um, just as we looked at things, um, it felt like he had an opportunity. We didn't know if he'd handle it uh, well, you know, how he would respond in there. Um, he's really smart. He can communicate at a really high level. We knew that from his time at tackle. Um, it's been really pretty seamless for him uh, in the middle of it. He's done a great job and, and uh, really natural there. Anything specific on uh, on Austin P? You can expand on. No, nah, I'm you know uh, defensively got to handle uh, tempo. Um, you know they'll spread the fo football field. Um, you know RPO game. I got to do a really good job on perimeter screens, defeat blocks, and make tackles in space. Line of scrimmage will be everything for us. Uh, offensively, going to have to have balance and be able to run the football and throw the football vertically down the field off of off of all of that. You know nothing different than, than who we are. Special teams um, got a chance to take another step this week. There's some really positive things. You know, I think we had 13 freshmen that were playing on, on teams. Thought they did a really nice job. Um, there's an, another step for those guys, obviously, as young as they are in their career. But um, you know, our, our specialists, there's some really good things. We just got to be more consistent. Thank you, Coach. Okay. Everybody have a great afternoon.